this is um, in Lightworks, and I'm going to cover today how we're going to, if you, let, let's say you have bad audio quality, you don't have a wireless microphone that's that, that works well for you or anything, if you don't want to have, you don't need a wireless microphone, uh, but, but the camera audio you find is not that good, what you can do in Lightworks is you can, um, take an mp3 file or an mp4 any audio file or a wave file and you can sync it up with your video file so this here is a video and an audio this is how I did my the previous sermon that was posted to my channel I have the separate audio and video and with the audio um, so let me import these so what you want to do is you import these into your project and it's going to extract this one, this audio track. It has to process the audio. So we have to give it a minute here. And um, what I did when when we were, when uh, the sermon was being preached, I actually had my iPhone underneath the, uh, in the, inside this pulp, this little desktop pulpit we have here. And uh, it was just, I had the voice recorder app. It's called... Um, now iOS 12 they changed it and the voice recorder doesn't work that well I found that it actually deleted my my uh, recording so so go to the app store and get voice recorder it's, it's, it's called voice recorder it looks like an old style tape recorder and it works much better so if you use that to uh, record your audio you can then get the mp3 file and then import that into your um, and if you use that and have it underneath here or near to you, it, the iPhone's um, microphone is really sensitive, so it actually picks up really good. So the audio quality is much better. So if you want to put that audio quality into the video, we, we import them. And we just go to our project contents and go to the edit tab here. And uh, we want to take this video here. We're edit, editing that and then we want to take this actually we're going to take that down into we want to take it down into the timeline we don't need it in the in there but we just drag it to your, to your timeline down here and okay what what we want to do here is cut and then we want to bring in the audio file there and you can see the audio file is much smaller than the video file that I have here. It's a little bit smaller because I started at, the, at a different time than the video started. So, but what we want to do is we want to cut down the sermon to just what you want. So let's see. Let me just turn. If you do this, you turn them on and off. This will, you'll not hear the audio from there. Or if I want to turn off the audio that's on the video and just keep my audio, uh, you can do that as well. And you can hear what your your phone's audio sounds like. And you'll see it's going to be out of sync. <clears throat> Amen. Turn to your Bibles. Way out of sync. Ray, way out of sync. First of all, let's go to the audio tab. And also, it's not in balance. A lot of times these are not in balance when you come in. So you need to like flip the, f click these to f flip the balance to center. And you can do the same thing here too with the video, and then turn that off. And then, so what we want to do now to sync this up is go back to the edit tab. So now, let's see, I want to get to the beginning of the sermon here. So here, maybe, perhaps, uh, let me just hear what he was saying. And you can turn this audio track on. You can hear what the audio is. Okay, so that's where the start of it is. So I'll just go back a little bit. Okay, so let me start right here, maybe. Okay, approximately. Alright, so approximately, and then, so what we want to do is, now while this is turned off down here, you can, any edits won't apply to this track down here, so you can press X here to cut that, and then we're going to cut out the, we're going to delete that, 
and now we're just now we just have the start the start of the sermon where we want and then now we can turn that off and turn this audio on and now the tricky part is to find the, to find that audio in this audio file so we need to uh, we need to go up a little bit and find that same audio that w that was starting there so that we can sync it up so we need to go and find it and so okay so we're getting there all right okay so here's where it started where he says all right you might want to at, listen for an audio cue like that so that uh, you know where to start. Okay, so here's where he's going to come up. And it's still way out of sync, but you know, it won't be. Okay, so where he says, all right. Okay, so a little bit back. Okay, so what we'll do is we're going to chop out and we turn off that all together. So we don't want, what we want to do is chop out everything before that. And then we'll right click that and delete. So now what we're left with is where he comes up and says, All right, now we're all, now we're almost there, right? All right. Thank you all. Still a little bit off though. So what we want to do so now we turn on this video and we can actually turn that off turn off delete the audio, the original audio. We don't really need it. So let me just delete it. And then we can move this audio up into there, and now it replaces. So it replaces the original audio. So now, when you play it back, you're only going to hear the the new audio. All right. And the tricky thing now is to get it to sync up. Thank you all. So his voice is before. You have to find figure out if the voice is before the video or if it's after the video. If it's lagging ahead or if it's lagging behind because you have to move it one way or the other so turn off the video track if you're going to be moving the audio around what you want to do is click here where it has a little magnet on the end of the mouse and you click there and you can actually move the audio back and forth to see where it matches up and you, you don't have to move it that much but what you want to do is zoom, zoom in so it doesn't move that much and then turn it off and then we can see completely off it's completely off so we have to move it down it's better to wait for also for it to render this the the waveforms you can see you know where where the, the speaking is and where the silences are because you can see the little the dips in it you know there's a where silence was and then so we go here this could be where I'm looking for all right all right. Okay. So there. Now, how close are we now? All right. So, so basically, we're behind a little bit. I think we need to move it to the left a little bit. So let's move this to the left a little bit, and then we try again. All right. Thank you all. It's good to be uh, at St. George Manor. I think it's a little bit behind still. And then it's just a matter of playing around with it until you get it up to sync up. Thank you all. It's good to be uh, at St. George Man. We're almost there. It's very almost, almost there. Okay, so let's try there. It's good to be uh, at St. George Manor again. Not quite. We need to. So basically, you just keep moving it a little bit and then trying it out. It's good to be uh, at St. George Manor again Sunday, and thank you for... Nope. Just going to keep moving a little bit. If it could, and if it doesn't go into sync, if it gets worse, then we have to move back the other way. At St. George Manor again Sunday. Yeah, I think I think I need to move back the other way. So this process is time can be time-consuming. So let's see. Let's try that. Alright. So he said alright. And a little bit. Try that. Alright. Thank you. So 
almost in sync. We're just just a matter of playing around with it till it's perfect. Thank you all. So let's move it back a little bit. Maybe there. All right. Thank you all. And this may take a while, so let's see. So, so we know that's way too early. Let's try this. So, he's, so we need to move it maybe right there. It's good to be uh, at St. George Manor again Sunday. So I think it's a little ahead still, the voices before the video, let's try that. Uh, at St. George Manor again Sunday and thank no, I think that, um, so there we go. Good, all. It's good to be uh, at St. George Manor again Sunday. There we go, Sunday so here we go, so here we go, it's perfectly synced up now. So it's just a matter of playing around back and forth until you get it perfectly synced up. And thank you for being here. And, and then you just get, you basically just get, you just dial it down and until it's perfect and then now it is. So basically it's ready. And now once it's matched up, you can edit at will. Like you want to edit out some places, you want to like, you know, edit, do whatever. Now you've got a perfectly matched up audio and video that you can now, it'll now, and then when you just export it to YouTube, it will export as a synced up thing, and you've got the, and now you've got the, uh, the superior audio quality from your, your phone. Praying so, and looking for scripture verses to, to deal with that question. See, and then that, that's it. That's all you have to do. So actually, so this is like the poor man's way of, um, uh, getting high, better quality audio when you don't have a wireless mic, and you want, you know, you want the better quality. But since the camera is so far away, you can't, it's low quality. So that's my tip for Lightworks, and um, I'm gonna be back and I'm gonna cover the actual uh, voice recorder app that I'm I use. And so stay tuned for that, and we'll be back.